स्टैंडर्ड थ्री सब्जेक्ट ई वी एस लेसन नंबर फाइव अंडरस्टैंडिंग टाइम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज दिस टॉपिक फॉर कन्वीनियंस ऑफ एवरी डे वर्क टाइम इज डिवाइडेड इन डिफरंट वेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल वाइल यूजिंग वर्ड्स लाइक राइट नाउ इन अ वाइल एगो लैटर टूडे यस्टडे एंड टुमारो वी आर अनोइंगली मेजरिंग टाइम इन आवर माइंड्स सो टाइम हैज थ्री पार्ट्स वॉट हैज गॉन बाय इज अ पास्ट वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन नाउ इज द प्रेजेंट वॉट इज येट टू कम इज द फ्यूचर टाइम कैन बी अंडरस्टूड यूजिंग मीन्स सच एज कैलेंडर्स स्कूल टाइम टेबल्स एट्सेट्रा इट इज इम्पॉर्टंट टू अंडरस्टैंड टाइम फॉर स्टडिंग हिस्ट्री समटाइम्स ओल्ड स्टैचूज कॉइन्स श्रैड्स ऑफ पॉटरी एट्सेट्रा आर फाउंड वाइल डिगिंग द फाउंडेशन ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग these things are studied carefully through these studies we come to know about the period of time to which they belong newspaper is also important means of getting to know history now let's revise how to measure the time to understand time we divide it into seconds minutes hours you know that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds and 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes we also divide the time for our convenience as day and night fortnight month and year one fortnight is a period of 15 days now let's revise how do we measure the time these are the instruments of measuring time in this picture you can see a water clock an hour glass a calendar and a clock nowadays we are not using a water clock and an hour glass in the 14th century the hour glass came into use in europe and also it was used in india it consisted of two connected glass vessels fitted in a wooden frame dry fine sand was poured into one of the vessels the connecting hole between the vessels allowed the sand in the top vessel to fall into the lower vessel the hour glass was constructed in such a way that it took one hour for all the sand to fall from one vessel into the other the clock was turned over as soon as all the sand had fallen into the lower vessel this is how a period of one hour was measured nowadays we are using the clocks but the first mechanical clock was developed in europe in 14th century first pendulum clock was developed in 17th century the clock we are using nowadays is very convenient to use our lives are dependent on time and clocks on page number 31 of your textbook you have a very interesting activity what we have to do here you have to stick your photographs from the past and the present means when you were a baby and now how you look like in the future frame you have to draw a picture of yourself of what you will look like in 20 years means it is an imaginary drawing of yourself so do this activity and have a fun your activity will look like this the first picture that when you are a baby that is your past the second picture is your present and the imaginary drawing will be your future so what we have learned today for convenience of day to day work time is split into parts when we use words like right now in a while or later we unknowingly measure the time in our minds time is measured by using instruments such as clocks calendars and school time tables time is divided into parts such as second minute hour day and night or week fortnight month and year we get an understanding of time through historical buildings or old objects like coins statues or shreds of pottery found in an area they help us to understand the history of that place i hope you have understood this topic have a nice day bye bye